Bucks nine touchdown. The linebacker picked it up. That was not a forward pass. Right side handoff. Oh, on the bootleg. Greece, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Williams Sport. Great keep. First quarter on their third play from scrimmage. Quarterback Brent Burley's pass gets picked off by Logan Ott and returned for a touchdown to put the Warriors up 7-0. Screen. Keep an eye on Lentz down here to the right. They come up there, winner. Big hole in the middle. The ball back running inside the five. Touchdown. Mounties. 28 yard run. Welcome to the kickoff of Touchdowns and Tailgates, powered by the Fairfield Auto Group. And I'm here with my good friend, Doc Chris Massey from the Sun Gazette. Great to see you, Doc. It's great. It's been a long time. I'm happy football's back. You been busy? <laughs> a little bit. Oh, it's, a, it's a lot nicer covering football than it was Little League for the last two weeks. Well, you, you, you and your sidekicks at the Sun Gazette did a fantastic job of covering the Little League World Series, it. covering the kickoff of the football season, previewing me. People ask me where I get all my information at, my numbers, and I say, well, I have a, I have a guy. <laughs> my guy is Chris Massey. You do such a great job of keeping all the numbers since 2000, right? Yeah. I, I wish yeah. you went back to 1980s when, when I played so I knew what my numbers were. But <laughs> Yeah, it's fun to do. It is it's fun It's demanding, but it's fun. So tell, tell me about the, the effort that it takes, and we'll, we'll catch up with Gary Chrisman because he does the same thing on the, on the other side, but that, that it takes to do the World Series and the kickoff <laughs> of high school football in our area. It's a lot. I mean, luckily, I've, I, I try to do the preseason All-Stars and teams, team rankings and things like that before the series starts. Otherwise... I'm going to be putting in about 20 hours a day, so it, it's demanding, it's a grind, but if I stay ahead of the curve a little bit, it's, it's able to get done. Well, you particularly, but everybody at the Sun Gazette, and I often compliment you, the coverage that you give our local kids, you know I travel the state and in the Northeast more than anybody, is fantastic, and, and thank you for what you do for our local athletes. I appreciate it, it's good to hear. So, so you, you let us in there, the top five, the Doc Massey top five. Why don't we start with that? Yeah, well, uh, I don't know if they're out here yet, but uh, Montoursville, the JV's getting ready to play here. They came in number one. They did what I thought they would do. They beat North Penn 49-17. The starters were out early, so good tune-up for them, and they'll probably have another one this week against Hughesville. And from the folks I talked, they didn't show a whole lot. Yeah. They held some cards, typical Coach Kiefer. That goes all the way back to Coach Bowman and Coach Berg and, yeah. you know, hold your cards early in the season. Which I think is a good idea. Yeah. I mean, and they could do that this week. And then they'll be tested in week three against Jersey Shore. That'll be their first big test. And we have to, we, what a beautiful sun-drenched day. And we got a little JV action yeah. on tours of the Loyal Sock going to go beautiful. on behind us. But couldn't ask for better weather, no, football that's, weather. That's pretty awesome. So Montoursville, we got one, number two. Yeah. And I just mentioned Jersey Shore. That's, that's number two right now. 55-35 over Belfont. They, uh, the offense was definitely clicking. Tanner Lorson, uh, I'll get to him a little bit later, uh, but he was phenomenal. He put on a show and got some good weapons there that I wasn't sure they might have this year. And that was probably the most impressive win I saw. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't expect that, did you? No, I actually I thought they might win, but I thought it would be like 17 to 13, something like and, that. Uh, and the beat goes on for Coach Gravish up yeah. there. I mean, it looks like he's gonna reload and be back at it. Yeah, and they play Sealands Grove this week, and you know, good chance that that's a district championship preview, and two old rivals going at it. It should be fun. That's that's a safe bet each year, isn't it? That yeah. district, hopefully, you can pretty much write it in that if it's not the championship, they're going to meet at some point again. Number three. Uh, number three is Williamsport. Who, uh, it's I'm trying to I guess you have to temper expectations for them because I think Central Mountain's going to be really down this year, but. But the defense was phenomenal. They only allowed 85 yards, and that was their weak spot. Last year was the defense, so that, that's a really encouraging start for Williamsport. And, and I mean, we, we obviously we did the game Web Weekly Live. You were at the game. I think everybody was impressed most of all by the defense. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. Hey, we, we know Dallas Greece. Can we call Dallas Philly or call him Pittsburgh or something? <laughs> yeah. it, 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 that, I'll have to talk to his dad, that Dallas thing, but <laughs> but he, he's an athlete. We know they yeah. have athletes, and Nasir Jones is a stud, and I mean, he, he plays is. off the he's end. But the overall defensive effort, and, and I'm going to go see Coach Cruz here to close the show, but mm. fantastic. They were. They swarmed. It was 
I mean, Nasir was, he was literally unblockable. I think every time he was in the backfield, but Drake Mackey, Avery Campbell, uh, they, the list goes on and on. They played well at all three levels of defense, and it, I'm an offensive guy, but that was fun to watch. Yeah, you and me both. We, we, but it, it, I couldn't be any happier because it seems like every year Coach Cruz is taking a little heat there in the beginning of the year, and it, it's tough to take heat when you throw a zero up on the board. So. Absolutely. Yeah, that was the best way to start. Four is uh, Lewisburg, who struggled against Sealands Grove. They lost 28 to eight, but that was a tough opener. I think they'll bounce back, and Max Moyers will bounce back. I was surprised how they shut Max down. Yeah, he's an all-around stud. You and I know that. And he's got some giddy up and go, and, and it yeah. shows when the defense keys on one player yeah. it, what, what can happen. I don't know if they have the edge threat they've had over the past years with, with uh, Dylan, Dylan and. Yeah. and uh, but probably th thought the same thing when you looked at the, the game. Yeah, it was. I, I wasn't surprised they lost, but they, they got pounded the way they did surprise yeah. me. But they're young, and I, I think they've got better days ahead. Number five? Go up north to Canton. Got it, uh, right. they, they smoked to Wanda 40-6. to six. That was another one where I was surprised they won, but that they, they manhandled them was uh, a surprise. And that's a good Class A team. They're going to be it, tough to beat in Class A. We saw that coming last year, yeah. the way that program's built, and I think – this might be a year they could make a little run. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of horses back from last year. They got their whole offensive line back from last year. And it starts up front, and you got the, the horses up there. Good things can happen. So if they stay healthy, they're, they're going to be mighty dangerous. Excellent. And uh, good to see the northern tier represented. And, and small yeah. school, that's the level to, for them to compete at, too. At oh, absolutely. So best of the rest. Uh, I, South Williamsport and uh, Montgomery put on a show that, that would have been for a guy that loves offense. I would have loved to have been there, 50 to 36 South. That was the game you and I should have went to. Yeah, that would have been fun. Uh, Luke Winter had 219 and, yards. And again, early season injury bug. We, we hope it doesn't carry yeah. through like it did. Goreski's out. Gannon yeah. can't play. Yeah. Luke Winter looked pretty darn tough. Yeah, it's nice to. I mean, those two complement each other, and it's nice when one of them's out that you can rely on the other one. And they threw the ball 20 times, which for South is the equivalent of other teams throwing it about 60 that, times. That used to be a season back in the day yeah. for South. Yeah, so. that's that's good, fantastic. Any others in the best of the rest? Yeah, I, well, I was impressed that Montgomery's quarterback, sophomore Logan Almeida, didn't play last year because he was injured. First game out for his 39 passes for 317 yards. So that, that's a that pretty good. That surprised me. That was that was that was nice to see for Montgomery. Do you think Montgomery has the bigs to to mold it together? We'll see because they get they got a tough early season schedule, they do. Uh, but they they have some linemen back from last year, and this is a good start. To uh, Stephen Prince had ten catches, so they have some athletes, and if they do well up front, if they if they gel up front, I think they could surprise some people. Excellent. Any others you want to throw in that category? The best of the rest, or no? I mean, if uh, you know, I mentioned Tanner Lorson earlier, and he uh, he had eight touchdowns. He threw for four and uh, ran for four, so. Not often that you see guys combine for eight touchdowns, so, so that was uh, pretty impressive to see him build off of what he did last year and kind of go bonkers in the opener. Yeah, and that'll lead us to the Sun Gazette Web Weekly, Doc Massey, Player of the Week. Yeah, well, he's one of them, and uh, he had like 345 total yards, over 100 rushing, 200 passing, dual threat, and uh, he's got a full grasp of that offense now after starting last year, so he looked really good. And I'll go right here, Reese Watkins for Loyal Sock. Uh, didn't even play. He hasn't played since seventh grade. And from what I heard, he debated whether he was going to play right up until practice started. 11 catches for 176 and, yards and two touchdowns. And we watched him last year, you and I, mature during basketball yep. season. Then play baseball, caught for the Lancers. Yep. But I don't think either one of us expected him to jump on the football. We know yep. he's an athlete, and, he, and he, he's a tough kid. But Well, I remember Connor Watkins telling me after they won districts in basketball, and Reese had a good game off the bench saying, if he could play football, or if he played football, look out, because he could be a great weapon. And, and Connor was right. I I'll mean, that's, you can't ask for a better debut from a kid that's, that hasn't played since seventh grade. And uh, and I think the Lancers, we're, we're going to talk to Coach Van Fleet here in a little bit, but I think the Lancers are, are going to be just fine. So I, I thought I thought it was an encouraging loss. As 20-point <laughs> losses go, I think there was a lot of positives. And that North Schuylkill is seventh in the state in AAA. And well, Sock had their chances where they missed twice in the red zone. So... I think there were a lot of things that if they clean up and get better, as they will as a young team, uh, some good things will happen. So I, I think there's a lot of positives to take out of playing a really good team like that. And we got Tanner Larson, 
and uh, Reese yeah. Watkins as our co-players of the week. Great way to start the season. Anything else you want to add in? No, I'll, I'll say keep an eye on Warrior Run this year. I think they got off to a good start against Muncie and got a lot, a lot of guys back, and they could be a sleeper. I, I agree with you. And, and that class has been building, too. They're going to be good yeah. in the baseball diamond, too, this, yeah. this year. Yeah, well, so, especially uh, once they get these 12 year olds up there yeah, in a few years. It's, uh, they're coming. So anyway, we'll, we'll take a break here. Uh, Fairfield Auto Group, we'll do a little spot for them. Touchdowns and tailgates. Thanks, Doc Massey. We'll see you next week. Sounds we'll good. be back with Coach Justin Van Fleet. For over 33 years, Fairfield has been proud of what we sell and service. That's why we put our name on everything we sell. So whether you visit our Ford location in Williamsport or Montoursville, for our Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram dealerships in Muncie or Danville, or our Chevy Cadillac dealership on Route 15 in Lewisburg, you'll always experience great customer service during and long after the sale. Fairfield, you're gonna love us. And we're back here at Ken Robbins Stadium in Loyal Suck. I got head coach Justin Van Fleet. Always good to see you, coach. Yeah, thank you very much for coming and supporting us again this year, You're giving the kids great exposure. It's much appreciated. Absolutely. And we got Reese Watkins with us. Football player now. Now you've added football player. Didn't play last couple of years. Decided to come out this year. How are you doing, Reese? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. We'll start with you, coach. Typical Loyal Suck start to the season. Quality <laughs> opponent. We get behind early. We fight our way back. We. It's come to the point where you and I talk off the camera and we always want to win, but, but Loyal Sock, I think it's more important than seeing what you got, especially now you don't have the extra scrimmage. Yeah, certainly with with our week one game, we, we've played a very high quality opponent every year. North School Guild certainly fits the bill. Uh, we're a very young team this year, a lot of inexperience, and I, I think in the beginning of the, end, the game that, that got us a bit. However, our kids responded incredibly well. I'm very proud of what their effort that they put in. I'm proud of the, the the actual recognition of the situation that came about. And I, we grew up a tremendous amount in the first six minutes. Uh, throughout the rest of the game, we were able to play them quite strong. And, and I think the game started out, you were down three scores right out the gate, right? Yeah, yeah. And it reminded me, when I read the recap of the game, the Mount Carmel game a few years back, mm -hmm. it was 21 nothing before basically we got our starters on the field and then we, we settled in and, and it was sort of the same scenario. Mm -hmm. um, we were a few horses short for this effort too, and you'll, you'll be at full strength this week? Yeah, we're, we're getting to the point, we, we had a terrible car accident obviously, you know, just, just happy that the kids are all back. Uh, we're able to walk away from the accident. Uh, in addition to that, we have a few individuals coming back uh, to the team as they were, they were out for week one. So I'm excited to see, see the, the full group start to come together. Uh, some of the guys, the injuries were sustained or, are, are quite heavy and they're going to be out a, a good amount here, but we should have a few guys back this week, which will be nice. And the biggest thing is that you know, we, we're returning three guys on offense and on defense three. And those guys that got in, those eight guys, is their second opportunity, their second game. Absolutely, and and, that, and that's the, the, again with that extra, I won't get going on the PIAA, but I don't agree with two games in August, ever, and I don't agree with one scrimmage. I mean, I understand the heat acclimation, and everything, but you you learn a lot about your team in scrimmages, and really you got to look at game one anymore as, as an opportunity to view what you got. Yeah, certainly, where it's not the preparation that we had in the past. Uh, when, when you and I played, it was two scrimmages, it was weeks of, weeks of preparation. You really knew by week one exactly what you're going into. And when you have a team that has the inexperience that we had, certainly it, it amplifies that situation. But I, like I said, I'm really proud of what the effort they put oh, in. Fantastic. And I'm looking forward to an opportunity this Friday. And seeing what you have, let's talk about you, Reese. When did you think lacing them up for your first high school football game? It was a great experience. I had a blast, our first experience. Would you sooner be behind the plate or catching, uh, what was it, 176 yards worth of passes? Yes, sir. Catching passes? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, catching passes. Well, just so you know, Chris Massey just left us, and you're the Web Weekly, co-Web Weekly, Sun Gazette Player of the Week for your effort. So you and young Mr. Lorson from Jersey Shore that had a monster game, but we both agreed that you could be a big factor for, for the Maroon and, and Columbia Blue. Mm -hmm. Can I say that, Coach? I think that's... we're in for that now. For the Maroon and Columbia Blue. Thank you. And, and one last question I'll ask yes, you. you. You've you've been injured. You've been on the sideline for different sports. You've, you're a hard-nosed, tough kid. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it's like to run out on the football field on a Friday night and be out there knocking heads compared to the other sports. Uh, it was just actually it was more fun, honestly, than some other sports, especially baseball. So yeah, 
I enjoyed it. There's nothing like it, is there? Mm -mm, no. And it beats running to the backstop to get wild pitches, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Coach, anything <laughs> you want to add in closing? Other than I guess we should we have you on Web Weekly Live this week, uh -huh. the Danville Ironman. I guess I can't forget that, or, or my producer will, or, or, will kick me in the <laughs> tail. But but hey, you and I love the Danville matchup. Uh, it, it's been one of our toughest rivalries, and almost every week is a rivalry week for us in some way or another. But our, our Danville matchup. Uh, we've had so many games decided by one or two points. Uh, love their coaching staff, love the community that we're, we're going to compete against. And in the end, it's always a very strong competition and something that we look forward to on a yearly basis. And, and we'll have you on Web Week Live. We're looking forward to it. And we'll, we'll see you probably before, during, and after the game. I was thinking, can I come down on the sideline and interview and ask you what players hey, you've are calling got the, defense? You've got the press pass. <laughs> right, you've got right. the press hey, pass. Great job. Thank look you. forward to the next few weeks. I think you guys Absolutely. are going to come along just fine. Take a commercial break. We'll head to Williamsport. For over 33 years, Fairfield has been proud of what we sell and service. That's why we put our name on everything we sell. So whether you visit our Ford location in Williamsport or Montoursville, or our Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram dealerships in Muncie or Danville, or our Chevy Cadillac dealership on Route 15 in Lewisburg, you'll always experience great customer service during and long after the sale. Fairfield, you're going to love us. Touchdowns and tailgates, and we're up at STA Stadium, up on the hill with the Way of Sport Millionaires. Coach Chuck, I love shutouts crews. Yeah. How you doing? Indeed. I'm doing well. Yourself? Excellent. I knew when I watched that, that game, you would be so happy about your defense, and, and we caught up with you after the game, and that was... T tell me your thoughts on that shutout. It's been a while since we heard pads clicking like that up here on the hill. Um, and it was a really good sound. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I love that sound. Continue you love that repeat. sound? Oh my gosh, yes. You know what I mean? The only thing better is me pouring my chair up to the dinner table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's I know it. what you mean. Yes, indeed. But it was a very good night for the defense. I guess I should inter introduce Brock Moyer. Brock, senior Williams Sports split in. Nice ball game. 85 you. yards. You got into the end zone. Yep. Felt pretty good, huh? Yeah, I did feel pretty good that game. It was fun. You've waited your turn here for the Millionaires. Yes. How did it feel to finally be out there? Run, it felt run out good. I've been playing four years, my first four years of high school. I was like, it's going to be my turn soon. And when I do, I'm going to shine. And you did. Coach Cruz, back to you. Good opening win. You pitch a shutout. Tell, tell, let's start on the defensive side. Tell me the good things you took away. I, obviously, a lot of them. But we, we were very aggressive. We were very hungry. Um, we were fortunate not to have to bring a lot of pressure. Uh, the front four did a great job. Uh, just applying pressure on them all night, shutting down the run. And when they went to pass, the quarterback didn't have time to be comfortable, which made the secondary job that much easier. And, and I don't want to single anybody out, but, but Nasir Jones was a beast. He was all over the field and, and uh, really provided pressure right from the get-go. Yeah, you want to know something funny, that he was destroyed in film, though. Yeah, I mean, that was a subpar game for 11. Can I guess what it was? Please, take a guess. Giving up outside contain. I'll never admit to anything. Great job catching the football. You, you broke that long pass. Tell me what you're thinking as the ball's in the air. I was like, they're going to be on my tail when I'm running out there, grab the ball, hold on to it, and score. That's right. And you look pretty fast. Pretty, I am pretty fast. <laughs> That's a good thing. I always have confidence, <laughs> yeah. too. Hey, Dallas, hey, I sit down with me. Chris Massey and I was talking. Da Dallas Grease is a stud, just a good athlete, baseball. But I, 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 we got to change his name maybe to Philly Grease. That, that whole Dallas bothers me, Coach. You? Well, well, listen, if you change the name, then you change the player. So we'll take the good with the bad. <laughs> we got to take the Dallas. And I, and I know Dallas real well, and he'll laugh when he hears that. But um, he was solid. He didn't seem like it, but I looked at his stats, and he was 12 out of 15. I believe at the end of the night, solid, solid ball game, a quiet 12 out of 15. Yes. Well, the most important thing is that Dallas and his teammates got the victory. So we, we don't count numbers around here. We count victories. You know what I mean? So we're pleased to be 1-0, and and our only goal right now is to be 2-0. You know, the personal accolades come with team victories. You know, it, it's sure. no secret that winning teams get better recruited than losing teams. They get more ink and more coverage. You know, who's to say if we're 0-1 right now, you're someplace else right now. No, oh, no, Coach. I'd be right here yeah, with come you. Come on now. Ain't we, no we, money, we ain't got, no money in losing coming. teams. Come and, on now. And, and I'll, and I'll Plug Gary Christman. Gary Christman, Babe Mary will be up here. Altoona, Williamsport. Talk a little bit about the rivalry and the matchup. Well, I really can't speak on the rivalry because I was not fortunate enough to wear the chariot right. But That's true. Brock was on the field last year, and he knew that we did not put out our best effort. So we want to make sure at the very least we acquit our effort. And with uh, an abundance of effort, the wins and losses will take care of themselves. I got to ask, who was your rival? 
You were at Chester, right? No, no, no. I oh. coached at Chester. I'm a central Lancer, not to be confused with the Little Sox Township Lancers. <laughs> no. We're the real Lancers. We got you. And our arch rival, the Northeast Vikings, and I can't stand it. <laughs> and it lasts a lifetime, doesn't it? Oh, yes, it does. Oh. Hey, but you you were out, you went out to Altoona. The best thing about this year to start oh. with is you don't have to make the drive out. Right. We'll yeah. start with that. But but tell me about do you guys appreciate it, or is it something that's been so long ago? We don't appreciate it as our rival. We should have came down did our did our job, but we didn't, and they just that's 48 nothing yeah so it's our time to get them back on so, our home field and, that, and that's a great thing to have them here in Williamsport at STA Stadium D tell me about um, you you played for coach now since the, three years right yes or, or four ninth grade year uh, I was ninth grade year he came up and then I played with him 10th grade year yes. okay so tell me about the program yeah I love coach Cruz I would love to play for coach Cruz tell me about playing in the program and how things have turned around it turned around when coach Cruz came up he got us ready to work in the weight room all the time always on our tail about hustling and conditioning so in the fourth quarter we're ready to play still that's fantastic and, and the winning attitude the, the, you guys expect to win when you hit the field now right yes we do and and coach coach credit to you you can see it in the swagger, the way the kids approach the game, the way they go out there. They're not just showing up to run through the – and I don't want to criticize any past coaching, please. To, but but your kids show up. That's it. That's it. Come on, get off. Ah, got the JV game going on, a little Indeed. central mountain action. Great, great night for football. Every night's a great night, but – Never been a bad night Could it be a better football. night tonight for a JV game, the weather? No, the weather is perfect. The concession stand, I smell, you know, hot dogs and french fries and chicken fingers. I hear you know, the mean whistles blowing and people cheering. You and I got to go get us some out there. Yeah, definitely do. But, but back to my question. I mean, you can see it in the way your kids hit the field. Just, just the body language, that has to make you feel good from where the program started and where you are now. Well, the one consistency has been the quality of the coaches that we've been able to keep together. So really Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they don't hear much from me. They hear it from the offensive coordinator, the quarterback coach, the O-line coach, the defense coordinator, the D-line coach, the linebacker coach. You know, I got great assistant coaches, which allows me to spend time talking to you guys because I know that things will still get done. And in today's world, the head coach is like the CEO of, of, of the operation. How much of your, I, I don't, you don't have to answer, I know how much of your time is spent on non-football issues. And you've got to have a good staff that can execute for you. Right, right now, I've got to load the laundry and i got to go put in the dry just to let you know how we're living up here. I got you. So, hey. We'll, we'll get out of here, but but congratulations to you and your teammates. Great first win. Anything you want to end with? No, fine. That's all. Keep it going. And like he says, count the W's. Don't count anything else, right? Yes, sir. Coach, as always, thanks for having us up Pleasure. here. Good luck. Thank you. Gary and Babe will be up here. Cable Sports uh, Productions, they'll, they'll have your game in the game of the week. Altoona and Williamsport. Boy, good one. And uh, Watch out for number four. That's all. <laughs> Watch out for number four. Oh, oh, did we just walk in the end zone? There we go. And, and we'll end it with that. There you go. For Web Weekly, touchdowns and tailgates for Coach Cruz. Hey, great job. And uh, remember, powered by Fairfield Auto Group. See you next week. Inside handoff. Oh, on the bootleg. Grease, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Williamsport, great keep. First quarter, on their third play from scrimmage, quarterback Brent Burley's pass gets picked off by Logan Ott and return for a touchdown to put the Warriors up 7-0. Screen, keep an eye on Lentz down here to the right. They come up their winner. Big call in the middle. The fullback running inside the five. Touchdown. Mounties. 28 yard run. Steps up once and all. Throws up Brock Boyer down the field. Nice. Good attention. Touchdown. Brock 